Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Geeks for Geeks channel and in this video we are going to talk about the height of the binary tree problem in the competitive programming series. So let's get ahead. So this question is very simple and has been asked in many big companies like Amazon, Snapdeal, VMware, Make My Trip, Coupon Dunia and Free Charge. Okay, so this one is a very simple question, but I have tried. I have solved this question using three languages. Uh, as there was a comment in the last video that sir, why don't you solve the questions in Java? So in this video, I have solved this question in C plus plus, Java, and Python. So watch it till the end to get all the solutions. Okay, so here we go. So in this question, we are given a binary tree, and we have to find the height of it. The question is pretty simple, right? Okay, so here's an example. So let's say this is the binary tree given. So what is the height of this tree? One, two, and three. So three would be the height of this tree. Okay, so what is the input format we have to follow now? So the input format which we have to follow is the first that the first line of the input contains the number of test cases T. And for each test case, there will be only a single line of input, which is a string representation of the tree. Okay, so how is the uh, tree is represented in the single line? It is represented in level order traversal and n denotes the null child. So for example, here is a tree. So one, two, three. So we can add null child over here as we have done here. Okay, so let's traverse this tree. What will be the string for this tree? So one, two, three, n, n, four, six, n, five, n, n, seven, n. And this is right, here we go. Okay, so now let's move forward and talk about the output for this problem. So what is the desired output for, for each test case? As we have seen here, that uh, the second from the second line we will be given the test cases the t test cases so for each test case we have to print the height of the tree so in this case the previous case the height of the tree would be one two three four and five the five would be the height of the tree okay and what is our task so our task is to not take the input it will be all done by the driver code we have to only complete the height function which find the height of the tree and it takes an node as a parameter and return the height of the tree. Okay, the printing and all of the stuffs like taking input and returning the output is done by the driver code, which is already written. Okay, so there are a few constraints given over here for this problem. For example, the t, the number of test cases would be less than or equals to hundred and greater than or equals to one. The number of nodes will be between one and one zero five, and similarly, the data of the nodes will be also between one and one zero five and so on okay so let's move forward to the sample input so as we have seen the first line will give us the number of test cases so we have three test cases to follow so this is the first test case this is second and this is third so and the output should be given like this okay so now let's go on for the explanation and the tree which will be formed for the first case so the first case the tree will be explanation like this okay so how will we travels as I told you that it is in given in the level order traversal so we have to do the level order traversal and how we do that for example the first this is the first level and this two are for the second level so simply so the first goes to the first level the root node and two and three are its child so what is the height of this tree two so the answer would be two as we can see here okay so let's go for the second tree since n denote the null child or the null node. So we have to consider it as null. Okay. So starting with two, the two is the root node for the tree. And then the left child is null. So it is not written over here. The right child is n and the right and the left child of the one is three and the right child is again null. So what is the height of this tree again? So one, two and three. The three is the height of this tree and let's go for the third and last test case so the 10 is the root node for this tree and left to this we have two sub trees starting with 20 and 30 so the left child is 20 and the right child of this node is 30 okay 
and 40 and 60 are for the next level so these all these input four inputs are for the third level so 40 is the child note of 20 and 60 is the right child of 20 and n and n are the childs of 30 put respectively left and right so again the height of this tree is one two and three so three so now let's move forward to the steps that we have to follow to find the height of the tree so don't worry i have given this i have mentioned both the steps and the algorithm we need to follow to solve this problem so and also i have covered the code in the c plus plus java and python and if you are using any other language for the solving of this question you can you again use the same steps and the same algorithm in that language and you will be able to solve this question pretty easily okay so now move forward for the steps okay so the first thing we need to do is to check whether the node is null or not what if, what if we are given an empty string and there is no root node at all or only a root node okay so we have to check for that okay and then second we have to compute the depth of the both left and right subtree recursively okay so what happens here is uh, let's take this uh, example uh, 3 okay so the height of the left subtree of the 10 is 2 okay and the height of the right subtree is what only one so what is the what will be what will move forward to the 10 obviously the maximum height will move forward to the 10 and then we will include 1 and the total height would become 3 okay so this is how it works so we have to compute the depth of both left and right subtree recursively okay and in the third step we will just use the larger one as i used over here the two since two is larger than the one so i have used two for the 10 and just added one for the root node okay so so the same step is step number three we have to use the larger one and add one for the root node also okay so here is how the algorithm goes in the algorithm first step we will have to check if tree is empty then return zero else we have to do these three things this four things actually okay then the first thing is to get the maximum depth of the left subtree by recursion and the second step is to get the maximum depth of the right subtree and the third step would be finding the maximum bit out of the both maximum by using this and adding one to this okay so how will we do that get the max of the max depth of left and right subtree and add one to it for the current node maximum depth is equal to max max depth of left subtree and max of right subtree so what this will do it will find the maximum of these both a and b both a and b it will find the maximum of this and then this will add one to this okay and then we will have to return only the max step okay so let's move forward to the solution now okay so as i told you that i will use java for this question particularly and i will also give you the code for the c plus plus and the python so as i told you that the driver code and all the input code will be given to us so this is all that code you can find this okay and we have to just edit this height function over here and now we will use the steps that i talked about so let's start so the first step is check whether the note is null or not okay so here we go first i will delete this out and yeah so as you can see i have just simply put an if check on the node if it is null then i will return zero over here now let's move forward to the second step that is compute the depth of both left and right subtree or we can go with the algorithm uh, we will use the else and then we will do a and b steps that is find the maximum depth of left and right tree by recursion okay so here we go okay so i am done with this first step uh, the second step that is uh, to compute the depth of both left and right subtree so here uh, how it goes i am just using the fu height function recursively to find the depth of le both left and right subtree okay so now now okay so now let's move forward to the third step that is uh, we have to find the larger one between both the left and right subtree and then add one for the root node also or we can say we are just going to do the c steps of the algorithm okay so here we go
okay and with this if else check our code is complete and as you can see we have just completed all of these three steps and also return the maximum depth that is by returning l depth plus one and r depth plus one in here and return zero if the node is null okay so now let's try to run this problem so uh, i will use that same input uh, this input to test this out okay so here we uh, go so that as you can see i've used the same input and let's try to run this code okay it's evaluating uh, okay so there's a problem over here note that is not capital n that is small n actually capital n is for the class not for the variable okay so again let's try to run this okay so here's the input 233 three, as we have accepted so 2 3 and 3 so we have solved the question and that's it okay so now we will try to understand how the code is working with the help of this example okay so first uh, we will go for the if check node is equals to equals to null or not so what uh, first of all this 10th node will be passed into this function for the first time and since it is not null we will pass the if check and then we, we will move into the else check okay so in else check we are just finding the height of left and right subtree respectively so for 10 the sub left subtree would be this and the right would be this okay and then again we are recursive since we are recursively calling this so then again for 20 and 30 we will find we will first go for the if check so since they are also not null they will also pass this if check if if check and then we will go for the left and right subtree of 20 so this is the left subtree of 20 and this is right and since there are no child of 30 so it will not return any depth it will just return 0 plus 1 okay since 0 is the depth of its child since there are no child here okay so this will return this both will return 0 to 30 and then 30 will return 0 plus 1 okay so what is 30 returning over here is 1 and for the 20 40 and 60 will return 0 plus 1 okay so these both are returning 1 and 60 is also returning 1 to 20 and then again what will it do since it is recursively called it will check for the left and right depth since both are equal so it can we can do any of this so 1 plus 1 is 2 20 will return 2 to its parent and then again since parents is also calling this method on the same then it will choose between 2 and 1 and since 2 will get uh, is max is more than 1 so it will get passed on and it will we will also again add 1 to it and the total height will be 3 okay so this is how this code is working for this example and as i told you that i also returned the c++ code it is also simple we are just checking for the if else case if the node is null or not and the first thing and then else all that thing that i am doing in this this all this line i i'm just doing this in one line over here uh, that is written one plus maximum of height of left node and the height of right subtree okay so this is the code for c plus plus and this is the code for python again the same we are checking whether the root is none or not if none we are returning zero or else we are just checking we are just returning one plus maximum of height left tree and height of right tree so it will again find the maximum between the left and right subtree and then add one and then return to the parent okay so this is how the code goes and i hope you like this and this is the java code as you know we have written over there and i hope you like this video if you like this video please drop us a like below and also drop us a comment that uh, how was the video and thanks for watching this do share it with all of your friends thank you